Hey y'all, it's Diane with Y'all Craft One, my old barn door. And I just wanted to kind of do a craft with me and play around for a little bit. Um, I have actually, it's been a very, very busy week for me. Um, I took my sunshine to Cincinnati over the weekend to watch the Cubs play baseball. And so I've been gone for the weekend. So I've been trying to play catch up this morning. And then my best friend called me and said, I'm going to come up and see you and bring my new grandbaby and let you meet him. So um, she's on her way here. So she'll be here for a couple of days. So it's just been, you know, really, really busy and kind of crazy. But that's okay because that's what it's all about, you know, is getting to... Um, be with the people that you love and so sometimes you just have to take time out for that so with that being said all of you ladies um who have sent me boxes of your wonderful journals i have them and i just have not had time to do the videos on them i am hoping to get those done um either by the end of this week or the beginning of next week and i will be spending some time trying to catch up from being out of town and then having company because it's kind of rude to try and work while company's here you know so um i just thought i would let you guys know that and um just kind of let you know where i'm at and what's going on so that you don't think wow she's just lost in nowhere land <laughs> i'm still here i've just got a lot going on so um i wanted to show you guys and we're going to play with these today these are I've had a lot of people asking me about scripture cards and um, you know they wanted to know where I was getting them and things like that and um, so I made some and put them in my shop so that you guys can have those um, to play with in your journals and um, they're kind of bird and florally and butterfly themed um, these are just some of the practice prints that I printed out and I didn't want them to go to waste and as you can see this one it printed incorrectly and so did this one however I still have full cards on here so um, this is the butterfly one and I forgot to print the other one hang on let me print that okay so this is the one that has the quotes on it now I've just printed it on regular copy paper and um, because that's how I want to use it to play with the project that I'm playing with it today um, but if you want them as journal cards they can be printed on your um, your cardstock and they print out really well um, I love how they turned out so these are the quote ones um, these have birds and butterflies these are the scriptures with the butterflies and then these are the birds with the scriptures um, so I just thought I would um, play around with a few of these today and maybe make some tags and I have this little glassine envelope here that I got in a package of um, I had bought something from Laura at Laughing Dogs Book Nook and she sent me some goodies in this little glassine bag and I didn't want it to go away so I pulled her little sticker off she had a sticker here so I'm gonna see if we can um, uh, Mod Podge um, some of these um, images onto here and then here are some of the little coin envelopes that I have in my shop and they're four by two super cute little coin envelopes or seed packs and um, when I bought them they said they were seed packs but they look to me um, I guess what they are is they're the little packages that people use um, to store their seeds in and so that's why they called them seed packs I was thinking they would be a little wider however they're still super cute they would make perfect little tucks or pockets um, so I thought we would decorate a couple of those today and just kind of play around and have some fun I also have some of my washi stickers um, that I have in my shop and so I thought we might could play with some of those and, and then I also have some of the cute little butterfly um, applique pieces and so, according to um, how much time we have, um, we're just gonna play around and make a couple of things. I might make a tag and do some of this on the envelope and some of the seed packs. So, just playing around, just having a good time. And 
um, seeing what we can come up with. So um, I printed some of the, um, the scripture cards a little bit smaller so that they would fit on these coin envelopes and um, the glassine envelope. So let's just, um, let me pull out. Oh, I also wanted to let you guys know, um, you remember the little video that I did of my fabric collages where I just stitched on, um, you know, my extra pieces of fabric and things like that. And I've had several people ask me to scan them um, and put them in my Etsy shop so that they can buy them. And so I will be doing that um, this afternoon. Um, but this is kind of how they turn out. These remind me a lot of the snippet rolls. They just don't have, you know, the buttons and all the other stuff on them. Um, but anyways, like some of them are fairly long and this one's pretty wide. But they turned out really, really cute. And it's a great way to use up your scrap fabrics. And so um, I'm going to get these scanned in hopefully this afternoon um, and get them in the shop so that you can, guys can get those and play with them. Um, in your projects so um, yeah I have several and you know they're all different kinds and styles so those will be going in the Etsy shop as well um, just letting you know that um, I heard your request and I will get those done for you so I am going to grab a little Mod Podge pad here and I think what I want to do I'm gonna cut these out a little bit just a little bit smaller now when I printed these I printed them um, in like a, instead of printing them as a full page I printed them as like a I think these were either a four by six or a five by seven and that gave them to me a little smaller so that they can fit on my little envelopes and seed packs so this is just kind of playing around with them just to let you know, you know, there's lots of things that you can do with these other than just using them as journal cards. Um, you know, there's lots of different things that you can, you can do with them. So let's see, I really like this one. So let's just, I'm just going to tear these and I don't know, should I use my tear ruler? Let me try that. Let's try it. I don't want them perfectly straight. Kind of want them a little collage -y. Okay. And then I'm going to go to this side and tear this side. here I am going to be doing some more of these as well I just ran out of time before I had to go out of town I worked on these um, right before we left and so I will be creating some more to go in the shop for all of you guys who have been wanting them so keep your eyes open for that and I think I want to um, Cause that's kind of small. I think I want to add like maybe a pretty napkin to go along with this. So hang on, let me find one. Okay, so I've got a couple of napkins here. And then I also have some of this Tim Holtz ideology collage paper that I thought would be cute maybe on one of the, um, the seed packets. But I kind of think I want to use something that's kind of plain um, as a background for this little bird on here. So I'm going to separate this napkin. Let me find some tape. Maybe. He don't want to come off. There we go. It's just cheap little tape from the dollar store, I think. Okay. So let's see if we can get the back of this off of here. Okay. And then I just want to tear a piece of this napkin to be the base on my little glassine envelope here. Okay. So put that to the side. 
and I like the torn edge versus the cut edge just because that's kind of how I work I'd rather tear it than cut it because y'all know my lovely talent of not being able to cut straight <laughs> which my aunt taught me some tricks while I was at the lake so we're gonna go a little smaller with this one and a little smaller with this one perfect okay so let's get this one mod podged on here and this is just my self-made her homemade glue and water basically is what it is so we're just going to swap some on our envelope here. Ooh, I got too much. Way too much. Hopefully y'all can see okay. Okay, and then we're just gonna lay our napkin on top. Mod Podge that down. And then I'm going to get a napkin to wipe that up so it don't stick to my pad. And then we're going to take our little um, bird scripture and we're going to put him, do I want him kind of in the middle? Yes, I do. And I want him kind of catty corner. I don't want him straight. So we're just going to Mod Podge him straight down onto... Our envelope and then we're gonna let that dry I'm gonna leave it open so that it doesn't stick itself together and then we're just gonna put this one to the side and let it dry yeah, so something really really simple like that it's super cute and then you have a cute little envelope that you can tuck into a pocket or you can make it a pocket in a journal and you can put some goodies down in for whoever gets your journal so there's one thing we can do with it. I'm going to sit this to the side so it can dry. And then I wanted to grab one of our little coin envelopes here. Let's see. Let's bring our tear ruler back out. Because I do want to... I want to tear this one. I love the little bird ones. Hmm. You know what? I don't know if I have... I'm just going to tear this because it's too tiny to try and grab it with that tear ruler. So we're just going to go this way with it. Okay. And we'll tear this side. And then we're going to tear the bottom side. Okay, now on these, you can do collaging or whatever. And I think I want some music paper to put with this. Let me grab some. Okay, so I've got some music paper here. I'm going to tear a strip of this. So I want to tear this edge off first. And... And I'm just going to kind of measure my width here and do it a little bit smaller than the width of my seed pack. Okay. And then I kind of don't want that blank space up there. So we're going to take that off. from here okay and so for this you don't even actually have to use the Mod Podge and you can ink the edges if you want to um, but let's just let me see if I can get some ink on here real quick I 
hear thunder outside. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but I guess it's going to pop up a nice little summer storm for us. Okay, and so we're just going to use a glue stick for this. top of the seed pack and get it get our placement correct that's one thing I like about using the um, the glue stick is you can you have just a minute to kind of move it around if you need to okay so we have that and then I'm gonna go ahead and ink the edge of this one just since we already inked the edge of the music sheet it doesn't take a whole lot of inking just enough to bring it out a little bit okay and then we're just going to glue him down as well and again I don't want him really he doesn't have to be really straight Just like that and these are just really simple little things you can do with the seed packs and um, the journal cards um, you know you don't have to to use them as a journal card and that's super cute that makes a cute pocket or a cute little way to tuck something in the edge is coming up a little bit let's put a little glue on there get that glued down really well so super cute little coin envelope or seed packet however you want to um, look at it and then i don't know if you noticed um here we'll leave that sitting there um, but on the edge of of the journal cards with the birds on it i put one of my strips on there um, just simply because i wanted to um fill in that space so let's cut it out and see what we can do with it And again, I'm not going to worry too much about cutting it straight because it wouldn't do me any good to worry about it anyways. Because <laughs> I just don't have that gift. <laughs> That's okay. Um, you learn how to improvise. So see, this is um, a smaller version of it, but like on the bigger version, let me show you. You know, you have this strip here on the bigger version. So let's cut, I'm gonna cut one of those out too. Let's see if we can play with it on here. Maybe I get in too big of a hurry when I'm trying to cut straight. Maybe that's what it is. It's even okay if I have a line to go with, so it's not too awful bad. Okay, so let's get us another coin envelope and see what we can do with that. So here's um, or seed pack, however you want to, whatever you want to call it. So this would be super cute to put this here, and I'm going to go ahead and fold the flap down so we know how far up we need to go without putting it on the flap. You know what, we're just gonna glue it and then cut it. How about that? Oops, I didn't wanna glue it right there. All right, so we're gonna glue it down in. Why is this not cooperating with me? <laughs> Cause I'm on camera, that's why. Okay. So we're gonna go this way with it. Trim off the excess. Make sure you don't trim your flap like I just did. <laughs> That's okay though. Because we can fix it. Alright, so we've got our little strip there. 
These strips you can also use as like little side tucks in your journals. And then we have this pretty flower here. Let's maybe use that on here. Um, where is my little piece of music? Do I want to put a piece of music on here? Let's do. So we're just going to put a little strip of music. And again, nothing has to be perfect. God knows I would um, not be able to do this at all if anything had to be perfect. Because <laughs> there's definitely nothing perfect about me. Okay, so let's put our music down. And again, that little glue stick gives you just enough leeway to move it around if you need to. And I didn't eat the edges of it this time, and that's okay. It's That's a personal preference. You can or you cannot. Whatever you want to do with it. And then I'm going to take my little washi sticker here. I kind of want a smaller washi sticker. Let me see if I've got another smaller washi sticker. Oops. Let's see. I have quite a few in here. That one might be cute. I don't want the butterfly because I already have a butterfly on there and I already have a bird on there. So maybe we'll stick to a flower. Okay, let's use this flower. So the best way I have found to get my washi stickers off, I'll show you. I'm gonna zoom in just a little. Sorry for making you dizzy. But I have this little pick um, this is what you use. All right. Sorry about the um, focus and the shake. Okay. Come on, camera. Okay. So I just have this little pick um, that, you know, you use to get your, um, I think it's actually for a cricket. But anyways, it's just got a sharp point on it. And so I'm just going to lay my sticker down flat and I'm just going to gently rub the very edge of my sticker until I get it pulled up and it's usually easier and I'll tell you why it's not being easy this time it's because I don't have it on a flat surface let's put it on this one. this is um it's kind of like gel or foam so it's got a little give to it but if you put it on your regular mat you can just you know go around the edge of your sticker there until you get it started good And then you can just pick it up and pull it off. Whoops, just like that. And then I just want to put my flower right side up, number one. I really don't know if there's a right side up with this flower. Yes, there is. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna put him right here. And it's gonna cover up our bird a little bit, but that's okay. Because I just want to add an extra element to so see super cute very simple it doesn't take long to do it you can use the stickers you can use um, the little strips you can use the scripture cards whatever you want to use but they turn out really really cute and that now I have a little pocket to put in a journal all right um Let's try something with a bigger card. I wanted to try and make like a tag. So let me see if I can find a piece um, that I can back it to because this was printed on um, on the cardstock, not cardstock, um, just the regular printer paper. And so I wanted to, excuse me, got something on my mat. I wanted to maybe try and make a tag with it. So let me um, 
I have a file folder here somewhere, or I thought I did. Maybe I've used it all. Let's see. Okay, you know what? I have this. This is an empty, you know, that's that good thick cardstock. So let's just use this and make us a tag with it. I'm going to pull this off. I mean, you can even use things like this, you guys, and make really cool stuff with it. So, just to kind of let you know, you don't have to waste those things like that. Let me put the tops on my glues, or we're going to have a mess all over our desk. Okay, so I'm going to pull this over here, and I'm just going to trim up the edge because it has the little curve at the edge. And what size tag do we want? Let's do, let's do a two and a half inch size tag. Okay, and then I'll put this in my stash and I'll be able to make a few more tags with it. Actually, I need to cut that a little bigger. Yeah, I need to cut it a little bit bigger because it's looking like we have these. These are three inches wide, so that'll kind of give you an idea of what size to cut for your tag. So I'm gonna cut mine a little wider, but I'm gonna go three and a quarter inches for that. Okay, and I'm gonna use the white side, and then I will put some either some music paper or some coffee dyed paper or something on the back to be able to um, journal on. All right, so let's just cut one of these out. fit on there really good and then let's ink the edge of it just to make it stand out a little just a little bit of ink So it's going to be really, really simple. We're just going to glue him on. Just like this. Make sure you get your edges done really glued really well if you're not going to sew. And I haven't decided yet if I'm going to sew or not. So I'm making sure my edges are really, really glued. There we go. And I mean, you can leave it as simple as this. And I think I'm going to. I think I, I am going to with this. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom you back out just a little bit so you can see a little better what I'm doing. So I think I'm just going to go, I'm going to measure this just right above the card. And then. I'm going to go to one and a half. I probably should have put my backing on that before I cut, but that's okay. Because we can fix it. Okay. So now we have a cute little tag. And I just want to put something across here just to kind of give it a little decoration. I think I know what I want across here. Hang on a second. Okay, these are some of the fabric ribbons that I have in my shop, and I think I want to put one of those as the topper. 
And I'm not really sure which I want, but before we do that, I kind of like that one, but I kind of like that color with it. We're going to have to decide. But before we do that, we're going to grab some coffee dyed paper. And I have just some little scraps up here. Um, somewhere. And I'm just going to back this with the coffee dyed paper. So we're just going to put some glue on it. Where are we on our time? Okay. We'll have to let the tag be the last thing because we're already at 30 minutes. Sorry, guys. I try. All right. So we're going to, I'm just going to lay this down on here and then we'll trim around it. I like using this card or a flat surface because it helps to make sure that the glue catches everywhere. Okay. We got quite a little bit of excess glue there because I go crazy with glue. But we know it's not coming apart. Okay, so now we're just going to trim around our tag. Don't laugh at my fussy cutting. This is why I don't fussy cut. <laughs> because I don't do very well at it. But that's okay. It still, it still does what it needs to do, right? Okay. So now I think I have decided that I do want to sew around it. So you have the coffee dyed paper on the back there. I think I do want to sew around it and I think I want to do some crazy, do some crazy sloppy stitching. So hang on, I'm going to sew it. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I've stitched around it. Let me turn it this way where you can kind of see the stitching. You know, and the stitching just adds just a little bit of something. Uh, you know, just another element and another texture. And then now we need to decide which one of these we want to use on here. So we're just going to, let's just cut a little piece off of each one. These are the fabric ribbons that I have in my shop. And I have them in lots of different um, patterns. So if you guys want some of those, they are wonderful, wonderful, wonderful for topping your tags. So I just snip a little piece off and rip it just like that. Pull your little strings out just a little bit just to give it that frayed edge. And then, yeah, I think I like this one to go with it. So we're just going to slide it right there. And see, that kind of covers that gap that's above the, um, the journal card. And I think I want to stitch that on too. So hang on a second. Okay, so we have it stitched on and it's super simple. If you don't have an, a sewing machine, just glue this on. But I mean, it's a super simple, cute little tag. And now you have a tag slash journaling card that you can tuck in a pocket. And you don't have to do that. If you print these on the cardstock paper, like I have one here, you know, on the cardstock paper, I mean, you can just cut these out and use them as a journal card. You know, you don't have to do anything special to them. And a lot of times, that's how I do it. I just cut them out. And I use them as a decorative piece in a pocket. Not perfectly straight, but that's okay too. So yeah, super cute little journal cards. So you can use them just regular or plain like that. You can use them like this. You can use them on the seed envelopes. Um, what else did we do? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the little seed envelopes with the stickers. Um, this one's still drying, but you can use them on your little glassine envelopes or any other kind of envelope that you want to collage. 
they make super cute little collages and they make really cute little pockets like this you know you could put on a page I don't have do I have a journal out here let me see oh I have this one so see like I have this journal so if I wanted to open this up I could just make this a little pocket in itself and that's a super cute little pocket there so lots of different things you can do with the the little scripture cards but I just kind of wanted to do you know just play around with them and show show you some different things that you can do with them not that you can't figure it out you guys know just having fun I'm just having fun so yeah just wanted to show you a few things you could do with them um, again these are in my shop um, let me just pull them over here so you can see them again if I can find the ones I haven't cut well that one I've cut but that's okay so you got the birds and the birds and the butterflies mixed and then what did I just do with that butterfly one here we go which I've already cut the one out of it but that's okay too so there you go there's you some fun fun little scripture cards to play with uh, they are very encouraging scriptures this is one of my favorites it says if we are faithless he will remain faithful for he cannot disown himself and if you have him living in you you are one with him and so that means he can't disown you because you are himself think about that so anyways just thought i'd do a fun little video thank you guys for watching let me know if you have any comments or questions you can leave them in the comment box below don't forget to like the video for me if you will and subscribe if you want to see more like these if you have any questions you can leave them below as well um, go check out what i have in the shop and again, I will be trying to um, get those uh, fabric collages um, scanned in, in the shop for you ladies who have asked for them. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for watching. Big hugs.